Oh god, this place is creepy as. Hello? Oh god, there's a lot of blood. Oh god. Oh gosh. No, this is taking a dark turn, hasn't it? Hello? How's it going everyone? This is full of porcupine. I saw this on Steam a little while ago and apparently the full game is coming out soon. It kind of reminded me of Night in the Woods. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd give this game a go. It actually looks kind of cool and you know me, I'm a sucker for autumn stuff, autumn aesthetic. It's my thing. Music is amazing actually. As I just go. Hi out there. What, what is the microphone for? Or is it just like telling me someone's speaking to me? Hope you're well and I'm glad you have- I can't speak. Hope you're well and I'm glad to have you back. Today I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for you this week and ran into a lot of old familiar faces. Why be on the road for me? What? Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Giuliano's cre latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. I highly recommend for fans of fruity drink. Oh, is this like a radio show? Is this like a talk show? Is this what this is? Oh, okay. I understand now. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I love this time of year and you can probably guess why. I know why, but oh. <laughs> The hibernation phase. Actually, that sounds really good. I like that idea. <laughs> I just want to sleep. I thought it was like, oh, the, the autumn aesthetic and, and the great food. Nope, we get to sleep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, no, hibernation isn't technically sleeping. It's just uh, whatever. It's, that can go into the whole thing. I really like this music. The art style is pretty incredible too. I remember like uh, Night in the Woods was more like vector art, but this is really cool. I do like this as well. I do like Night in the Woods art style as well, but um, um, this is a bit more detailed. Unfortunately, this is time of year again when the days are getting shorter again. I said again way too many times. <laughs> Look at that bear. It's like bear Jesus. Jesus bear. So... I think I'm the pigeon. Why do I look like I'm wearing a lab coat? A good day always starts with being late. Oh, well, that's not good. And without Dr. Krowski... Krow... 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 Krokowski. <laughs> and without Dr. Krokowski busting your chops. Or a busted coffee machine that doesn't even get warm. Am I a doctor? Is this bird a doctor? Is that a dog? It's just staring at me. Anyways, I gotta run. Can I not fly? I am a bird. Hello, who are you? You late too? Nope. I j I'm just here to show how dialogues work in Fall of Porcupine. Okay. I see. Thanks a lot. No problem. So... Oh, there literally is a sign that just says E. So I, did I did I explain this before? I don't remember, but this is the demo called Last Days of Summer for this game. So that's probably why. I don't know who I am. I, I think I'm a doctor. I'm wearing like a lab coat thing and scrubs, but why would I be bringing... I can knock that over. Can I jump? Yes, I can. Parkour. Can I balance this? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, fuck. I nearly nailed it. Hold on. Let's do this again. Haha! -ha. Nailed it. What is that? Press and hold to glide. I can! I can glide! I am a bird! St. Angela Hospital, you howl, we heal. Is that their- is that their slogan? And glide. I'm just so excited that we can glide. Uh, should we maybe save water and turn that off? Or are we just gonna leave it running over the pavement? So people could slip. These generic hospital signposts are fantastic. You find them at every corner pointing in all directions. Still, you get lost all the time. I freaking know, right? <laughs> it's like there's signs everywhere and you'll still get lost. At least for me. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just me, though. Who's driving this fancy low one? It just looks like it's like an elephant sat on it and squished it. So I'm a doctor or a nurse. I don't know. I might just be a nurse. Wait a moment. Ooh. Are those choc dogs? Last time I ate those, I was a kid. Can I have it? I read that Chuck Dogs have been out of production for eight years. Consumer protection banned them as they didn't contain enough chocolate to be called Chuck Dogs. So <laughs> they're just dogs? Oh. Oh, that sounds actually terrible. <laughs> what are you eating? Dogs. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? I asked you first. I asked you second. Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here two weeks and already you're late. Wait, I've only been here two weeks. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day? Bad? My coffee machine is full of mold. And the snack machine ate all my change. Quite sassy. What's up with the snack machine? Any news? Did something happen last night? 
There's a construction site outside the hospital. Do I have an option? Like, or can I just, can I ask all of them? Let me just go quite sassy. Who knows? It was working last night. Old Greg has probably been tampering with it again. Would you mind taking a look at it? Do I look like a repairman? Can you just say I was late? Priorities, kid. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta get the, we gotta get the machine working. We need that sugar. The construction site? When isn't there a construction site there? It's so annoying. Like, there's always a spot in every town, no matter where you are. There's always a spot in town where it's just constantly road works or construction going on. It's never done. It's always constantly going on. Um, let's go fix this machine. Or try to at least. This machine's dead. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do for it. Time of death. We've talked to its family. Before it passed away, it signed a snack donor card. I will do my duty as a doctor. I just smack it. Thank you, machine. Thanks to your sacrifice, others can now satisfy their sugar cravings. Oh my gosh. Alright, I got her choco dog. Wait, is it literally like... Can I access an inventory or something? Oh, I can. St. Ursula tasks. No tasks. Can- Do I have an inventory? Is the chocolate thing is like- Is it- Is it legit like a hot dog and a chocolate? Is that what it is? That's so weird. A coffee cream pick- Prickle. Oh, what was it you wanted to know? What's new? Oh, that's right. Attack- The cafeteria is closed today. Dr. Halil allegedly tried to heat up his microbiotic instant meal in Sir case stone oven such a mess what does that even mean and two new patients were put on your ward last night one of them has a nasty ra rash <laughs> i was about to say nasty rash the other one was barely able to walk suspected urinary stone i think he's well on his way to renal colic oh fuck that sounds awful the things you know ingrid i've been here for 30 years my dear what are you still doing here I already did the third floor. Otherwise, Dr. Kro 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 I still can't say his name. <laughs> Dr. Krokowski will give you hell. Oh, the elevator is broken again. What's that? Oh, bin. Hmm. Suspicious. What do you mean? It's just a bin. Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I've got my eye on you. I got my eyes on you. Elevator's broken again. It often bugs me that I don't own a car, but at least I've got stoned legs now. I got them. I'd never skip leg day. There's a janitor's room. Hello, Mr. Glendower, are you there? Fuck off, I'm busy! I don't know where I'm going. I know I'm outside. I'm at the back. Ambers has probably seen better days too. I think even the equipment at my alma mater was a modern was more modern than this. I have no idea what that means. And even then that could be described as antique. Well, as long as it's still running, you don't have to retire it yet. Kinda like that old jalopy. What is a jalopy? Is that a is that a vehicle? I don't know. I know nothing about vehicles. Kind of, actually, I do. As long as it's not a Mercedes G-Wagon? I'm fine. Hey, Mr. Ambulance, how's it going? Finally, old friend, it's my pleasure to welcome you here. The sun is shining on my hood and my gas tank is full to the brim. May I take you for a ride? You are too kind, and a ride would be more than appropriate division. Diversion? Uh, I can't even speak. Unfortunately, time permits me no such favours. Too bad, right? Feel welcome anytime should time permit you another visit. I'd love to. You are, as always, too kind, Mr. Ambulance. Always welcome. I love that in like these types of games like that where the character will just like go off on a weird tangent with just inanimate objects like that and just like make up a whole thing of dialogue. I love stuff like that. It's so funny. Okay, so let's go to the stairs, which are here. I have to get to the first floor because I totally forgot where she said to go. So I need to go to the first floor. So I'm need to go here. There's not a whole lot on the first floor. This is the chief of medicine's office in the hospital administration. Okay, never mind. That's why there's not a whole lot here. Okay, floor number three. I couldn't remember if she said first or third floor, so it was one of the two. P31. My man's been here. Hello, you. What are you? Are you a polar bear? I'm just like bothering this guy. I'm just like walking back and forth. He's like, what is this doctor doing? Don't you worry, sir. I'm a professional. Where the fuck am I going? I don't even know which room I'm supposed to be going to. Clearly it's not B31. What am I supposed to do? Are you my patient? There's a picture of a cow. Is that a cow or a deer? I don't know. Actually, No, that is a cow. It's got titties. How utterly interesting. Oh shit, there's people here. I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Sorry about that, Dr. Krakowski. I got your name right this time. You look very unimpressed. I asked the patients not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. I'll be more punctual in the future. Not more punctual, just punctual. <laughs> just punctual. All right, let's start the rounds. Time waits for no one. We'll start with room 301. This is Mr. Kissinger. Or Kissinger? I have no idea. I'm sorry, I'm very mispronouncing this name. He was admitted last 
last night with a high fever. He's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are we feeling today, Miss Kissinger? Mr. Kiss- Did I say Miss? Oh, fuck. I'm fucking up your- <laughs> I'm fucking up your title. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. I would have been worried if you slept if you slept well here. I would have been worried if you slept well here. What does that mean? Why does that sound so ominous? What do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis. I see. Yeah, sure. I oh fuck me, Mia. You do it yourself, Mia. Do I butt in? Do I help Mia or do I do nothing? God damn it, Mia. They asked you a question. I could answer it myself. I'll just help her. Fuck it. She needs help. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Shingles. It could be herpes. Oh yeah, a very pronounced case of shingles. That is right. <laughs> herpes zoster is, is, uh, yeah, it is. Shingles is a type of herpes. Not could be. It is. You're right. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Why did they say, why, why did Krakowski say, oh, it would be terrible if you actually slept well? What does that mean? Do you not want your patients to sleep well? Good morning, Mrs. Kasparus. Kasparus? Oh, fuck. I'm going to fuck these people's names up, aren't I? Are the painkillers working? Yes, thank God. That was one hell of a pain. Mrs. Kasparos came to us yesterday evening with severe pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. Finally, you're very quiet. Finley? Wait. Oh, I'm Finley. The last with your beautiful voice. What is our patient suffering from? Uh, I think it's just re like it, they it could turn into renal colic, but it's just like urinary stones or like uh kidney stones or whatever the hell. Correct. Last night's exams were able to confirm urinary calculus. We suspect that renal colic has already occurred. A clean diagnosis. A little cautious, but not wrong. A little cautious. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Mrs. Kasparis, I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nursing staff if you need anything. Follow me. Last patient, last chance. I'm assuming that we're like students or, or like not, not students, but like practicing students. I don't know what the hell they call them nowadays. Good morning, Mrs. Amit. Just a moment. What's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Yesterday, I think. Yesterday at midday. That's way too long. Finley, change the dressing now. All right, treatment. Take care of your patients. Press and hold the shown buttons. Do not press other buttons or more buttons on displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. Oh my god, there's too much pressure. Under pressure. Oh, oh, M. Do I hold it? Oh, fuck. What? What is this? What is this? I have to hold all the buttons at once. U. Z. Fuck. V. I. W. E. U. A. Fuck. I can't. I can't with this, like, freaking twister shit I have to do on my keyboard. Who was on duty yesterday? I, me, I was thinking I was going to change it. The storage room up here was empty. I, I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness on this ward. Oh shit. Dr. Krakowski, it was probably just an oversight. Finley, you stay out of this. Okay. Who the fuck is this? A nurse? Dr. Krakowski, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself how stressful it is here. We're also constantly under staff in nursing. These two are new. They need to get warmed up first. What are you doing here anyway? This watch storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. It's a little unprofessional that we're fighting in front of patients, but I don't know. I, I don't work in a hospital. Try your hardest, Finley. I'm doing the best I can. If that's your best, then who would then woe to this hospital? <laughs> it's where Rosses are posted. And the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. I might take a look at that bike. That might be useful. You look like you're just blocking the door. Like, no one gets through. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. The elevator's broken. I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Krakowski said. The ward storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. Alright, let's go. Let's do this, Carl. We got this. Okay, so where's the... I think it was like on the ground floor or something. Was it here? No, that's the admin room. Is it here? No. Where's the... Where was the storage? No. Ma wait, 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 wait. Maybe... Maybe it was... I thought it was three... Like, I thought it was, like, on one of these floors. I think it's just on the ground floor. This is storage room. It's our main storage room. My second home. Okay, I can first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff together. Finley, you better stay back, kid. Anything could be hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact it's a king cobra. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Let's get this over with, kid. Agreed. Let's just go in there and grab the shit. Hopefully not a king cobra. <laughs> Why would there be a king cobra? The day will be over if we carry, have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it'll also be the end of the day for my back. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Oh, Glendower. Good luck with that. Don't you think he'll help us? Everything Gregor touches ends up even more broken than before. Come on, let's give it a try at least. Alright, so we gotta go to Glendower, get the 
thing fixed. Who's this? Oh, the newbie? What is it? Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You usually do it with duct tape and a glue gun. <laughs> What kind of janitor is this? Ah, she'll be right, duct tape, will fix it. Listen, Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes, no help from me. If I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. I was in the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash to the dumpster at the back entrance. Find Gregor's cigarettes. So, sorry, St. Ursula's task. But the, oh, you can see the... Um, thing at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we set out back maybe? This way? In the dumpster? Greg said he was at the dumpster this morning. There really are cigarettes in here. And they still look pretty good. A radish brand sludge must have been on the pack before. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Should be right. Yes, newbie? Your cigarettes, I got them. Good stuff, kiddo. And you're really gonna fix the elevator now with duct tape? Flex tape is no ordinary tape. Maybe I'll give it a couple of good wax. That usually helps too. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. <laughs> No problem. Okay. <laughs> I like this guy. He's my kind of guy. I reckon we'd be friends. I'm always surprised whenever anything works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure luxury. Enjoy it while you can. It could be over soon. And when that time comes, try not to be in the elevator. You're of great help, Finley. We use people like you in this hospital. I'm glad I could help. Now get going. You should start taking care of your patients. Talk to Dr. Krakowski. She oh, Krakowski's a she. That's a woman? I guess, I'm, I'm assuming the elevator is going to be like operational for a day, maybe. There you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? I was helping Carl carrying the boxes to the storage room. They're pretty heavy. What is Mia doing? You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone. We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient's information before your shift begins. That sounds very like code of like like we're breaching code of conduct like what if i could just like screenshot it on my phone unless they're like phone specifically for the ward but that's so weird press i ah new tasks available downloading today's schedule schedule updated aha uh -huh. so we're gonna go to 301 302 and p31 you're the one with the rash or shingles i'm spending most of my days lying in bed lately doing nothing looking out of the window did you know that today is the beginning of meteorological meteorological <laughs> fall? Did you know that today is the beginning of meteorology meteor fuck off. Fall technically starts today. Okay. Let me take another look at that rash of yours. How come you know so much about meteorology? So I can say meteorology, but fucking meteorological? That sounds so weird. Let me take a look at your rash. Does that hurt? Just lying around is already pretty painful, you know? No, it's not that bad, I promise. Okay, what do I do? Oh, no, I have to do that stupid thing again, do I? D-O-N. This is so weird. A-Q-Z-G-A-K. See, I'm using, like, my typing... A B? I got a B? Wait, you get marked on this shit? What do you think? It's a pretty nasty case of shingle. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine though. All right, your instruments are pretty cold. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. Have a lovely day. Okay, I'm gonna get better at this thing because I'm really enjoying this game so far. And when it comes out, I'm probably gonna play the whole thing, like the full game when it comes out. But um, that that thing I have to do when I examine, it's it's very odd. Like, it, it's very weird because I almost have to do this sort of like, you know, like that game Twister? Twister from Milton Bradley. It's the hottest game around. Twister, the hot and you're like, oh, right hand on red and like right hand on red and left foot on like green or something. And like you end up like in the weird, like eventually just end up in a weird Twister. Like that's the name of the game. But like, Jesus Christ, having to do that with a, the, the patient I'm trying to diagnose, it's pretty difficult. How are you, Mrs. Amit? Painkillers have got me flying high. I'm glad to hear it. We don't want to get you, like, uh, addicted to it. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. How about under the table? No. My family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. I will take extra special care with your treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna get faster at this. A few moments later. I gotta be, fuck. <laughs> Why am I so shit? Good afternoon, Mrs. Delwyn. Or Ms. Delwyn, I'm so confused. My name is Finley and I'm your attending physician. Hello, doctor. My name is Cassia Delwyn and I'm your patient today. Here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient. You'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps. I got it all. Nice boys, Mrs. Delwyn. 
with Miz fuck I fucking up I'm fucking up the titles let me try to do my job well oh, okay I gotta do this stupid thing I'm I'm not a fan of this it's not wait this is different so a blue mark is that a right symbol is in the wrong position and a green is the right okay in addition symbols will be highlighted green when they're in the correct position the symbol will not be Wait, in addition, symbols will be highlighted green when they're in the correct position, but you already explained that by saying a green mark shows you that the right symbol is in the correct position. I think you're just saying the same thing twice. I don't know. A symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination with eight rounds. This sounds very... What am I supposed to do? What? Oh, is this like Wordle? What am I doing? A and D to jump to the next. Check. Oh, this is fucking Wordle. Wait, two blue. What does that mean? Wait, combination contains symbols. Ah, ah. Okay, so there's like two that are correct. Okay, maybe like, okay. Ah, oh, the heart is correct. Go tooth, eye, and then bone. Aha. Got it. It's Wordle. It's Wordle for doctors. I like that one. That's creative. We'll have to do some more examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood. Oh, I hate that. I hate... But people take my blood. I, I'm not good with needles. I can, I'm can. i good with shots. Like, if someone's giving me a shot, I'm just like, just put the damn thing in and I don't care. But if someone's, like, taking my blood for, like, blood tests or something, I'm like, oh my god. I'm gonna die. Like, I'm a fucking baby when it comes to that shit. Oh, and could you do me a favor? What can I do for you? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. If I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. This person's probably got like some chronic disease or something. Oh, that sounds awful. I'm sorry, person. Tra la 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 la. I did my jobs. My tasks are complete. Hang on in there, Finley. You haven't been with us long, but I see potential in you. Don't underestimate Miss Job. Don't underestimate your responsibility. Maybe then you will make it here. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. All right, I'm home time. Fuck yeah. Am I not meant to look for the blueberry? Uh, pie thing? I don't know what the hell I'm looking for. All right, think about going home. Ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No, no, no. Come down to Gilbert's with me and we'll have a drink together. One drink, one will soon become five. There's no stopping me once I get going. Come on, don't be a party pooper. All right, but let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. Can I look for the blueberry thing? I want to give to my patient. Uh, can I talk to... Nope, can't talk to you. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm probably progressing the story. What are you doing, Mia? <laughs> it kind of looks creepy. It's just like, I just caught you in the act of something. Um, I don't think I'm finding that blueberry whatever. Kyle and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Want to join us? I'm pretty pooped. Tough day. And you've earned a cold drink even more. Come on, it's on me. Okay, you twisted my arm. Getting a couple of drinks. Getting some drinks with the bros. With the, with the fam. I don't know. I'm telling you, a freshly tapped beer like that puts my feet back on the ground. No matter how bad my day's been, I'm not much of a drinker. But today I'll make an exception. Yeah, because you just get those days where it's just like, I just fucking need a drink. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you saying it does. I don't drink anymore, though. I stopped drinking. The day was stressful, but I'm kind of in a good mood. But while we're sitting here, could you do me a favor, Finley? In the future, please don't tell me the answers on rounds. I know I can do it, and I want to do it on my own. I didn't know, though. I was like, I feel, I thought, like, I'll feel bad if I don't. Like, I feel, I would have felt like a dick. But I know, like, people just need to do things on their own and work it out themselves. But it's like, there's there's no harm in someone just sort of giving you a nudge. Like, you'll remember it eventually. You, like, you, you, you can do this. Has it always been like this? in the hospital what do you mean well i've only been there a few weeks and i fall into bed every night completely wiped out even now i'm finding it hard to keep my eyes open i feel the same like we were only there for like a couple of hours we weren't there that long you've been there forever carl how do you deal with this stress for so long well i think at some point you get used to it when you realize that the stress is normal maybe it gets easier to endure so like you can make a formal complaint about it i learned under dr theobald he wasn't even the chief of medicine back then he always had a sympathetic ear for people for his patients anyway i would have liked to have seen that and our internal medicine department was upstairs on the fifth floor. There's a fifth floor? How many floors are there? I only got to the third floor. I didn't see a staircase leading up further. It was a ward on six. There's a sixth floor? How many floors are there? Why is there a gun hanging on the ceiling? What is, what is this place? Structural defects. 
Roman Heydrich from Mechanics said that was the only option. Too bad, I always liked it up there. Right, and the work. Was everything then like it was today? Well, not quite. We didn't have all this digital stuff. The doctors were always leaving their pens in rooms. I had a really big ta uh, collection at home. You're just stealing pens from work. And Ingrid still fit into her normal office chair. <laughs> You're calling Ingrid fat? She, she's a hefty woman. I mean, she is a hippo though. But hey, the woman is awesome. Yeah, I like her too. Kind of. But was it as crazily stressful as today? Huh. Hard to say. Like I said, it was quite a while ago. I remember I was always totally exhausted in my first few months, but that feeling went away at some point. I think it's like jogging. At some point you just get past the point of exhaustion and you just keep running. I hate running. But yeah, I think I get what Carl means. It's just like, you sort of just deal with it the best you can and eventually it just gets like, you know, oh yeah, just same shit, different day, almost. Like, just kind of like that. You just learn to deal with it. I like to go for a walk. Does that count? It makes you by far the most athletic of us. <laughs> We don't even exercise, Mia. We, we go to work, we come here, have a drink, and go to bed. No one has ever said that to me before. I don't even know how to feel. I gotta take a leak. You're only in the moment here, you know that. Leave the kid alone. If you gotta go, you gotta go. But no doodling. My glass won't fill itself. I haven't even drank. <laughs> My glass is still full. I didn't drink anything. I'm listening to the music in the background, like the song playing. It sounds so familiar, but I'm not too sure. Who are you? Leave me alone, kid. Fair enough. I'm gonna keep talking to you. Can't you see that I'm busy right now? Am I gonna start a fight? Ain't got nothing better to do, you turd. <laughs> Can I just keep talking to him and start a fight? Is that what's gonna happen? Grumbling. Alright, I think I fucked him. I think I fucked him. What did he say? <laughs> I think I've pissed him off a bit too much. I, I'm going to leave him. There's a turtle. A tortoise. Turtle? Tortoise. No, he's a tortoise. That's a tortoise. Hey, Finley, my friend. Who stepped on your foot? Also, I just noticed this massive puddle there. Giuliano. Oh, yeah. Like, I think that was like on the radio thing. Like, someone said Giuliano. I thought that was like Gilbert's bar. Where are we? I'm so confused. No, maybe the place is just called Gilbert's Bar and it's just run by someone not Gilbert. What's all this about? It's okay. Long story. I like long stories. And I also like my life. I read that and I said, <laughs> I thought it said, and I also take life. <laughs> He's a closet assassin. You know, we're lucky to have something you can call a daily routine. What do you mean? I took out the trash today at noon. The garbage bag ripped and all the gunk ran down my pants. Oh, oh, that's, oh, that sucks. Oh, nasty. Yeah, true. But not bad either, right? I guess not. I mean, it could be worse. I can't myself lucky that I have nothing worse to tell you. Profound thought. But it's still a challenge sometimes with a daily life like that. Anyways, nice thought. I like this guy. I like Giuliano. Uh, ooh. See that, like, photo thing up the very top? It kind of reminds me of, uh, May from Night in the Woods. I wonder if this game is really, like, heavily inspired by it. There's a newspaper article on the wall. The bazooka hangs up his gloves. Boxing fans around the world have been in tears this weekend, as one of the most famous boxers of recent decades announced his retirement. In just seven years, he competed in over 518 fights. Is that a lot? I don't know anything about boxing. That seems like a lot. 515 defeats. Oh. He won only two twice by the non-appearance of his opponent. He lost every fight he took part in. Why are people like this guy? And one victory by his knockout when his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting. The bazooka was one of the worst boxes in history. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where this was. I didn't like know where this was going, but the turn this took is fucking immaculate. This is hilarious. He was, however, revered by his fans and his competitors for his humorous monologues. Wait a minute. The bazooka. Is that you? Are you the bazooka? What is this? A horse riding a horse. Okay, why do all bar restrooms smell like the artificial citrus scent? I mean, nobody likes the smell of urine, but do you have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant? Whenever I smell that artificial lemon, it makes me wretch. Ah, whatever. Hold you now and get through it. I love this, like, gliding thing. Like, you just glide. It's so cool. Wait, where's my beer? You drank my beer. You motherfuckers. I don't think my beer was empty when I left. Why is my beer empty? What? No. You drank up before you left. No, I didn't. Look behind you. A three-headed grouch. What? What are you staring at, shorty? Oh, fuck nothing. <laughs> You're trying to get me into a fight? Next round is on you. Okay, fine. Juliano, keep them coming. The evening's only just begun. I literally have not had my beer. I always wanted to be a good doctor. 
and I'm afraid the stress is too much for me that I'll make mistakes or just lose the meaning of my work. Baloney, you save lives each and every day. Name one thing that's more important. Bah, I think the kid's right. You guys and that dump of yours, it's falling apart. You can't get anything done over there. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Nah, nah, I'll, now I'll tell you something. You come in here, complaining about how hard your lives are. You should take a long, hard look at yourselves. Lazy, incompetent jerks that you are. You can't even keep an indoor cactus alive. And you talk about curing people of cancer? You couldn't save my wife either. Oh shit, there's like history with this dude? If it were up to me, I'd burn down the entire place. I've been sitting here for... No idea what time it is. I've been sitting here for... Fuck, how long have I been here for? Fuck. Oh yeah. What makes you think you... Fuck it now, I'm talking like a drunk. What makes you think that, you old drunk? I'll prove it. Bums. Bums? Bums. We're playing bum. What are bums? What the fuck are we doing? Loser pays the tab. If we want you to pay so bad, be my guest. What is, what is, wait a moment. Yeah, wait a moment. What's bums? Kid, haven't you ever been to a bar before? All right, listen up. In bums, we take it in turns to count from left to right. One, two, three, four, and so on. You can count, can't you? I, yes, I can manage that. I am a doctor after all. However, you're not allowed to say the number if there's a three or a seven in it, or if the number is divided by three or seven, divisible. In that case, you say bums in the direction we're counting in reverses. Ah. Uh -huh. And if you count when it's your not your turn, you lose two. Uh, I'm so. How does it? Wait. Oh fuck. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Go. I'll start. One, two. Bums. And then you go two, four. Oh wait. I thought we go down. What are we up to? Twelve. Oh, I fucked up. Was I supposed to say bums? Wait. What was the question? <laughs> what are we supposed to do? You see, you're a bunch of good for nothings. No wonder the people of Pokemon don't want to be treated by you. Wait, I, was, I got confused. What the hell are we doing again? <laughs> I was I was like, when is my turn? Apparently that was my turn. I thought, I'm so confused. One more round. Just one more round. Wait, so I count. One, two, you say bums. And then four, five, bums. Seven is, seven is bums. Eight, bums. I was ten, eleven. Bums. 13 is bums. 14 is bums. No, is it divisible? No, okay, it is, but okay, 15. I'm so confused. Now you see who's in charge here. Ha ha ha. And now I'm going to have a big cold drink. Or 10. That was just luck. You cheeky garden gnome. What are you saying? Garden gnome. You look like the tick of a chip of a cotton swab. Oh! Hey, wait, I'll give you a cotton swab. Oh shit, are we actually fighting? There's a brawl! So. We're playing Street Fighter. Wait, what am I doing? I just died. He freaking beat the shit out of me. I could I could do anything. Incoming call. Who's calling me? Pina. Who the fuck is Pina? Finley, good morning. Pina here. What are you up to, matey? What's wrong with you? Are you sick? Have you been infected by a deadly virus from the hospital? Do you have a disgusting rash on your belly? I was drinking at Gilbert's last night. You drink? I had no idea. Clearly not often enough. But I'm working the late shift today, so I can rest up. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do something. I already have an idea. Meet me at the marketplace. There's something I need to see there. Um, hello. Are you Pina? No, you're not Pina. Fuck. Oh, wait, I'm actually playing. Good morning, Giuliano. Son, it's already gone midday. Yesterday's still taking its toll on me. That thing with Ralph kept me busy for a long time. I do like him when things aren't always settled with fists. Even if at the end of the day you don't agree. I'm more concerned with what he said. What the fuck is that? Oh, I don't know you, apparently. Alright, uh... Is that an otter? Why do you look s That otter looks so fucking weird. It looks way too human. Hello? Oh, there's Pina. There you are. Where have you been? Hey, Pina, I'm glad to see you too. You look tired. You okay? Yes, everything's fine. Lots on at the hospital right now. And Giuliano's gooseberry beer is really tasty. But my head is pounding. You just can't take anything. You're just a lightweight. Why are you at the marketplace? We're preparing for the hibernation festival. The stage construction has started already. A bit early in my opinion. But the city wants it that way. Best to play it safe. So who the, who's Pina? Who's Pina to us? And what do you have to do with it? I'm in charge of the greenery for the marketplace and stage. Ah. Oh. Do you have that many plants in your store? 
So are you like a florist? That's why we're discussing it now. I still have to get a lot more than before then. But it's going to be great. You should be looking forward to it. Didn't you say we were going to do something? Yes, sure. And what was that? We're going for a ride. Why did I have to come to the marketplace then? Couldn't you have picked me up? Who do you think I am? I have to work after all. Unlike you, lazy bones. Excuse you. Well then, shall we go? We're going to walk from here. Where are we? This is the Glow Milk Woods. I like to come here when I'm stressed and in need of fresh air. And you seem pretty stressed lately. I thought you could use a walk. I seem stressed. Yep, here we go. You're going to love it. Run back the other direction. I'm leaving. Goodbye. Fuck this shit, I'm out. That's Pina's car. She uses it to drive her plants around town. Oh, Pina's a chick. Consider Considering that she's so fond of nature, her car is surprisingly full of trash. You know, to dump your trash out into the woods, are you? You may as well just leave it in your car. All right, let's go, Pina. Where are we going? Ah, oh, look at the waterfall. I always thought hearts like that only existed in cheesy movies. I mean, I'm happy for them, but they didn't have to torture the poor tree for it. Who knows if they're still together? But the tree has been scarred forever now. I love scar. Yeah, I feel dirty now. Rightly so. Let's go. Yeah, let's. Yeah, like, here's the thing, though. Like, oh, crap. <coughs> but, like, uh... Like, when I work as a park ranger, I'd see this stuff all the time, and it's like, did you really have to scour up the tree just for your own vanity's sake, or, you know, just to leave a mark? Like, it's kind of stupid, though. Like, for you, it's only a moment of, like, doing that, but for the tree, it's there forever. Like, if you think about going to, like, national parks, or even just, like, not even national parks, just, like, wandering around and wherever the hell, and you see a tree, don't, don't scour it up. It's not good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Oh, there's a little, I was like, I was trying to go this way. There's a little tiny arrow on the rock. It says, go that way. Thank you, tiny rock. Oh, they're like ruins up here. What is this? What is this? It used to be some kind of stronghold here a few centuries ago. Even before Porcupine was founded, there was a village right at the foot of the forest. And here in the forest, there lived a count or a king or whatever. I mostly skipped history. I see. Back then, the count or the king or whoever actually lost something here. A little golden statue. I heard that the statue worked like a divining rod. No, not water, but treasure. It attracts treasure. The statue has been lost ever since and is said to be lying around here somewhere still. No one's been able to find the statue, but they say that anyone who goes looking for it will be rewarded with their own treasure. How ironic. Hey, don't make fun. I used to climb around here a lot when I was a kid and I found lots of treasure. And now it's your turn. You could use some treasure today. So go on, get searching. I'm, I'm sorry, what? Do I have to? We're not leaving here till you find your treasure. Okay. All right, uh, I guess I just gotta go look for the treasure. There's a stick up there. Is that my treasure? To grab a stick and build a nest, I guess? I don't know. Well, are you happy, Dr. Jones? Hmm, I don't know. I just found this old stick. That's perfect. For what? It's just a dried up old stick. They're all over the place here. But this stick comes from the magical ruin. That means the stick is magic too. Your own magic stick. I'm quite jealous. So does that count? Absolutely. Come on, let's go and take good care of your magic stick. Oh. Okay, what does the stick do? Out of breath already? Well then, let's go. We're almost there now. Oh, this looks so nice. I like this. How do you like it? The view is great. I mean a porcupine. Settled in yet? No, not really. It's unfamiliar. Why are you still here? Well, I grew up here. I was even born in St. Ursula's. There's a part of me that longs to get away. To the big city or to another country, far away. But another part of me keeps me here. I feel like I can make a difference here. I hope I can make a difference here too. Well, of course, Finley, look at you. You're a doctor. Sure, but it's not easy either. You can also make small things happen. For example, do you still have your magic stick? Uh, yes, I guess. What are you going to do with the stick? Huh. See? What's that? That's your monument. The people of Porcupine will be craning their necks skywards to gaze upon this mighty edifice. Who was that Finley? How did he make it all the way up here? And was Penis... <laughs> Penis Sen... Sen? Tree Master and Queen of Plants really as hot as they say she was? I like this chick. She's funny. We should get going. My shift is about to start. I can give you a ride. Thanks. Stop thanking me for everything or you'll have to walk. Can we go back, actually? No, I have to go. The game just forced me. I like the music. It's so nice. I love the art style. I love I love this game. It's such a good game. Again, I won't thank you for the ride. So, no thanks. It wasn't my pleasure. I love this. Please don't ever call me again. That trip was really lousy. You ruined my entire day. Don't worry, I'll gladly never take you anywhere again. I really hope you don't. 
Oh, it's raining. Ah, uh, just in time. We would have gotten soaked out there. Are you made of sugar? My precious little bitch boy. Think of the plants. They need something to drink too. This summer is extremely dry. Yes, you're right. I better go inside. I got my ass kicked yesterday because I was <laughs> late. You go ahead. I'll stay here a little longer and enjoy the rain. Don't let him get to you. Never. Goodbye, friend. I like Pina. She's cool. Who's this? Are you new here? Yeah. Dr. Kroger. <laughs> I can't say her name again. Dr. Krakowski has already done the handover. She's in the general meeting this evening with all the senior physicians. Dr. Theobald and Mr. Hydric are there too, so it's going to take a while and you'll have to manage without her. So I'm supposed to give you your shift for tonight. Have fun, kid. Don't kill anyone. All right, so you got 301, 323. Okay, so pretty much this, no, that's not the same as yesterday. No, is it? I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Still closed. Where did patients actually get that food from now on? Can't imagine anyone delivering pizza here. Maybe a gap in the market? I've always wanted pizza boxes with my picture on them. Just to start up in my own pizza place. Be like, Finley's Pizzas, come down now. Get it while it's hot. Or something. I don't know. Alright, up here we go. Oh, wait, isn't the elevator working? I don't really want to be in the elevator though. Ah, oh, there are different floors. Ah, oh. I didn't notice because I was sort of just running around. So there is no sixth floor. Well, they, they said there was. Did they knock it down? I don't know. The door is locked. But there's nothing in the fifth floor, they said. Hmm. Suspicious. This is our second internal medicine ward and the intensive care unit. Why is it so far up? Also, if the elevator's broken, is that not like... Um, it's another like a really bad thing. Like if you need to like get people to the different wards or something. That's so dumb. How do you get him up then? Okay, 301. It's my first patient of the day. Okay, I gotta do this stupid thing again. G A K. I got an A this time. I did it. I'm learning. There you go. You're on the road to recovery. All right, you're the one with the urinary infection with the urinary stones. Not a good evening at all. I'm miserable as hell. I'm in a lot of pain and nauseous too. I guess we'll have to increase the dose of your painkillers after all. Can you up it quickly please? I'm really not well. Okay I'll talk to the nurses right away. But let's not overdo it. I'll change your dressing for now. Go ahead. I'll just picture someplace nice. I wonder if you're lying to me. I fucked that one up didn't I? That was B. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay, done. Now, could you please tell the nurse? I've already put it in your file. It'll be taken care of. Ouch. Yeah. I wonder if you're lying or not just to get more painkillers. Addicted to the painkillers. Okay, I'm gonna go to P31. I like P31. It's a very nice person in there. I forget your name. Delwyn or something? Good evening, Miss Delwyn. Was your pudding hunt successful? I'm afraid not. I'd like to discuss the results of yesterday's blood test with you. Your blood sugar levels are abnormal. Nothing alarming yet, but let's find out what's wrong with you. Do we get to do the wordle thing again? Oh, I love this one. This one's so good. Ah, I got two right. Okay. So, teeth and foot are right. And there's two correct but in the wrong spot. So maybe, ah, okay, so it must be stomach or something. Got it. Diagnosis complete. I'm afraid you're suffering from a form of diabetes. Diabetes. You have to be treated with medication as soon as possible. And the blueberry pudding? I'm afraid you'll have to be a little more careful with those in the future. But since your blood sugar is too low right now, you'll have, you'll get two today. I see this as an absolute win. I have done my task for the day. Time to go home. Finley, there's a problem. Mr. And Andes. Mr. Andes is up. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Mr. Andes is up? What do you mean? Mr. Andes is up and gone. What do you mean? Is Mr. Andes a patient? Yes, now focus. He was lying in his bed just now. I only left for a moment and then he was gone. Do you have any idea where he could be? Maybe he just went to the bathroom. Well, that's the first place I looked, of course. The man is old and suffering from dementia. Oh shit. You shouldn't be wandering around here all alone. I've already searched the whole grand floor. No trace of him. I'll help you. We'll find him. Great. Mia is already on the lookout too. I oh, mean, if Krakowski finds out, I'll be your head shorter. Ah oh, shit, we gotta look for the dude. Okay, if I was a dementia patient, where would I go? But I can see a light. Is there someone inside? Mr. Andes, is that you? Still locked. Maybe the elevator can get me there. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we gotta get the elevator. I have a feeling the elevator's gonna break. Is there an elevator here? Where's the elevator? Nope. I think it was back this way. Okay, here we go. God, that sounds awful. All right, here we are. We're in room... Oh, floor five. Remember, I thought the elevator was gonna come crashing down. Why is it stopped here? Is that the fifth floor ward? Al told me something about it. The door looks like it used to be blocked. Maybe the patient ended up in here too? I'll have to check. Hello? Hello, Mr. Andes. Well, Andes, I don't know what the hell your name is. Oh god, this place is creepy as. Hello? There's a strange smell coming from the room. It smells like damp air, kind of musty. Okay, we're not going in there apparently. Hello? Is there anyone there? Oh, so there's like blood stains on the floor? Is that rust? I don't know, I'm too scared. I'm too scared to ask questions. Oh god, there's a lot of blood. Oh god, is that blood? Looks fresh. Oh shit. Oh gosh. No, this is taking a dark turn, hasn't it? <gasps> the fuck? Oh. 
What the? Damn, that's Mr. Andes. Is he dead? I need to get him out of here quickly. Hello? Is someone there? What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Ball of Porcupine, last days of summer. That was it. Holy shit. I don't know what the hell happened at the end there, but fuck, I'm, I'm excited for this game now. Thank you for following Finley's story this far. His journey will continue soon with some exciting news. Please add full of Pokemon to your wishlist. It really does mean a lot to us. Sincerely, the whole team at Bunchpetch Games. I totally friggin' butchered that name. I have no idea. Wow, that that's amazing. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. That is really cool. I love... I love the story. I love the dialogue of the characters. Like Finley is so interesting, and there's like all the all the other characters like Carl, Mia, and Pina. They're, they're all so interesting. Like I love the how the game just sort of suddenly takes like a dark turn, and you're just like, oh, what comes next? And the game is not far off from being released. I think it's like on the fifteenth or something. I'm not too sure. I could be wrong, but that's sort of just what I glanced at. But um, I'm totally gonna get it when it comes out. It's amazing. I love it. The My only, like, I guess my only gripe would be that, like, weird typing thing that you have to do when you're, like, examining the patients, but it's it's easy enough. It's just, like, it's kind of weird to do. But anyway, no, I, I really enjoyed that. It's so cool. I love that. Great story, great characters. I'm excited for more. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that there, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.